Hey guys, Jeff here from besttechie.com and today I'm doing something a little bit different. It's a little type of it's a little bit different type of video. Today we're going to be talking about the Christmas spectacular show that goes on at Radio City Music Hall every year from November early November to January. It's probably more widely known, you know, because the Rockettes are part of it and it's just it's a big big uh, thing that a lot of people go to every year, especially if they're tourists and they come to New York City for the holidays and then they go to see the show. Anyway, it's running this year from November 9th to, uh, through January 1st. And I was lucky enough to get an invite to go take a look at a brand new addition to this year's show. It features a hundred drones, which is actually the same number of rockets that are also on the stage at the same time. And the drones have been synchronized uh, together and they're Intel drones. They're really really uh pretty small they're quadcopter type drones and there have been they've been they've been added to this year's show so they invited a bunch of tech press over to kind of get a first hand look at what to expect from the show this year uh or at least a, a part of the show this is part of like the fun, the finale part of the show where they have these drones come in a hundred of them again and it's really cool they, have, they they're equipped with led lights they are they're quadcopter drones like i mentioned they're smaller Intel is, is has partnered with uh, the the team who who are uh, who are making this happen essentially, and it's a really cool thing. So I, I have video which we'll get to in just a little bit, but I want to talk about a few really interesting components from a tech perspective uh, that I learned when speaking with the uh, the head of marketing for drones at Intel. So number one, they have like I said, a hundred drones on the stage at, at during the show. What's really interesting is that they obviously have more drones than that because they do a couple shows per day. So they have to have at least enough, at least an additional 100 just in case I would imagine. I, I don't know the specific numbers, but basically they're after each show they are run through different diagnostics and things like that to make sure they have the uh, appropriate battery, to make sure that there's no uh, issues with them from a software perspective. And then from a hardware perspective, they're also inspected by people to make sure that you know the propellers are not broken or or some things that the led is correctly attached and things like that and then even during the show they have people who are watching from certain parts in the theater uh, apparently so i'm told that you know kind of keep an eye on the drones to make sure that nothing is going awry which is pretty interesting um i i don't know how that would help like if one started going crazy and like it just flew into the crowd and like then they're what are they gonna say like watch out i mean like maybe <laughs> but um so yeah, so that part's really cool. And so again, and the way these, and, and, and the way, you know, the way you think about drones typically is that you have one person kind of controlling a single drone, right? With this, it's actually, they're all kind of programmed uh, using an application and then that's, they program into the, the choreography and, and, and then these drones just follow it. It's just like one person manages the entire application for the show and, 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 and they're just flying in there and you, it's really impressive when you see the video, which we'll get to, um, because apparently I, I asked, how do they how do they come on stage, right? Because you know they they obviously aren't on this, you know, flying the entire show. What? How do they just show up? And you'll see when you watch the video, it's like you cannot tell when the drones come on stage. So they actually come in from stage right, and and you'll you're not going to notice. You can try and look. If you can spot it, let me know the exact time. I'd love to see it, but I I I've watched it a bunch of times. I haven't been able to see it. The other thing that's really cool is that because the uh the because the drones, you know, obviously are in sync and they 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 go along with the choreography of also the rockets. Now for the for the uh the demo that they ran for us, which is literally, you know, a portion of the show, as I said, the finale part, but it, they didn't have, they only had two Rockettes on stage and like Santa, um, but they weren't doing like their routine. It was just to kind of show off the drone set, the drone element of it. So if you want to see the real thing, you have to buy a ticket and go check it out. I think it's going to be really cool. I think what they've done is actually really neat in the, the inclusion of the drones. One thing you will probably notice if you listen really carefully about midway uh, through the entire uh, drone, uh, part is you can actually hear the humming from my recording of the drones all all hundred drones they kind of make like a mm, kind of noise if you listen really carefully when the music dies down uh just for a couple of seconds or two 
you'll hear the humming um, and then obviously you can't hear it once it kicks back once the music kicks back in so yeah I mean I was really I was really impressed with how well they were choreographed how 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 flawlessly and seamlessly they seem to uh, again fit into the show and I'm I think it's really cool and so this is also another thing I'll, I'll mention before we get to the video uh, that is that these are the first indoor drone uh, kind of show that Intel has done uh, with this type of drone. It's a new type of drone. It's a smaller drone than the typical kind of drone shows they've done in the past, which have been outdoor to date. So these these new drones, since they're indoor, they have smaller propellers. They don't have to deal with the elements as much. They're also smaller, uh, much smaller quadcopter, as I mentioned. And 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 lastly, at the end, at the second part of this video, uh, so you'll I'm gonna have a, I'm, I'm gonna have the recording that I took from the from the kind of presentation, the demo presentation. And then after we have, there's a couple, uh, there's a small interview with two of the Rockettes who were there, kind of just their feelings and their takes on, on uh, how the how the drones in, uh, are being incorporated into the show with them. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Feel free, if you like this video, if you want more content like this, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you soon. And remember, remember, take care of your computers.
projections that cover the entire proscenium at Radio City and it really immerses the audience into the show so it's really exciting. And we also have a brand new number, can't forget about our brand new number, with new choreography and brand new costumes that you see. So it's titled Christmas Lights and the drones as well as us and our costumes are inspired by Christmas lights. So the 100 Intel mini drones come on stage and they surround the stage forming beautiful shapes and patterns just like the Rockettes do and then we are revealed in these gorgeous costumes that Tony nominated designer Emilio Sosa designed, which he was inspired by vintage Christmas lights, so getting back to the Christmas lights, and it just is really an exciting number, and we like charge downstage, and I cannot wait for our audiences to see this beautiful finale. It starts at the end of the um, Living Nativity with the North Star, which is the original light of Christmas, so it really is so wonderful that we're incorporating light all around, you know, from the beginning of that finale to the very end of the show.